What does Ramadan mean? There's more than 10, 15, some says even 30 meanings of the month of Ramadan, the, the word itself. When I learn the word, I learn the meaning, I learn the goal. And one of the meanings, I'm just going to share one, is from Ramadan. It's from extreme heat. So why Ramadan is called Ramadan? What does it have to do with heat? And one of the scholars says, what does heat do? It melts things. First goal, let's make Ramadan the month that will melt my sins. Assalamu alaikum friends, peace be upon you all and welcome back. As we all know and are excited for, Ramadan is just around the corner and subhanAllah it feels like Ramadan is coming back quicker and quicker for every year and isn't it beautiful that Ramadan comes when our heart needs it the most. If you clicked on this video, I know that you really care and you don't want to waste your Ramadan. You don't want to waste the opportunity to become the best version of yourself. And maybe we have wasted our last Ramadan, but something in you wants to change and that's fantastic. The whole purpose of Ramadan is to achieve the sense of taqwa, God consciousness. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in Surah Baqarah in this verse, O believers, fasting is prescribed for ye as it was for those before ye. So perhaps you will become mindful of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That closeness to Allah leads to a feeling of peace. Even if everything in your life isn't going the way that you want, but you still have tawakkul and trust in Allah, and you do your best and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will do the rest. Ramadan is the ninth month in the Islamic calendar the month of fasting, repentance, and good deeds. Fasting in Ramadan is the fourth pillar in Islam. Ramadan was the month in which Angel Jibril revealed the Quran to Prophet Muhammad He revealed the five first ayah of Surat Al-Alaq. The translation of these verses are Read in the name of your Lord who created Created humans from a clinging clot. Read, and your Lord is the most generous. He taught by the pen. Taught humanity what they knew not. There are numbers of hadith which are mentioning Ramadan and its significance, such as when Ramadan enters, the gates of paradise are opened and the gates of hellfire are closed and all the devils are chained. These are from the source Al-Bukhari and Muslim. Fasting during Ramadan is a way to invest in your Akhirah. Fasting holds great reward, especially when you have pure and good intentions. Eight gates of Jannah, Paradise, and one of them are known as Ar-Rayyan. And those who are allowed to enter Rayyan are those who fasted in this life for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. During Ramadan, we should recite more Quran because we will get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Did you know that you get 70 times the reward for reading or reciting a single letter from the Quran during Ramadan? SubhanAllah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is so generous, you get 70 times the reward for each letter you recite during Ramadan. SubhanAllah, SubhanAllah. I have so much that I want to talk about because there's so much that we can do. And we have to start with ourselves first. I'm not perfect, none of us are perfect, but we can become better. And the person that's in our way is only ourselves. So we have to realize that we can achieve and become the best version of ourselves. But first, you have to see it within yourself. I know we all are struggling with sins, missing prayers and stuff. I know that you want to stop with the sins and you want to start praying your five daily prayers consistently i am 
going to share some advice on how to start praying your five daily prayers consistently without missing one single prayer. First tip, you have to learn what prayer is and the significance of it. Second tip, set your timer five minutes before prayer time so you can prepare yourself by doing wudu and prepare your mindset. That. Personally, this helped me a lot. Having a prayer mat in your room or in that room you spend most of your time in gives you motivation and reminds you to pray. Fourth tip, start preventing yourself from praying. When you miss a prayer, don't give up. Trust me, I have been there and I know that it's difficult but you have to get through this, okay? And I know that you will. Most people tell themselves, I will do it later or I will do it tomorrow. With this mindset, you're preventing yourself from praying. Instead of doing it later, do it now. If you missed a prayer, go and do it now. Pause this video and come back when you have prayed your prayer because it's much more important. Fifth tip. Learn about the blessings of the prayer and often remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by making dua and doing your daily dhikr and when you do dua you can also make dua for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make it easier for you to pray. Lastly, never give up. I know that it's difficult sometimes but you will get through this. Try your best to pray regularly and try to build this routine and eventually you will pray your five daily prayers without missing any of them. Just follow these tips and have the right intentions. It's getting late but I still have some things that I want to talk about and this is actually really important. I was just scrolling at TikTok and then I saw like oh four days until a lot of dishes and I just wanted to point out that he as a brother should also help within the household. Listen, before you get like, oh, what? No, listen. We as children to our parents need help within the household. It doesn't matter if you are a big brother, if you are a big sister, if you are a younger sister, if you're if you're a younger brother, listen, our parents work, they cook food for us, they go shopping, they go and buy stuff for you that you want, okay? And we don't even do anything, okay? So the little thing that we can do is to make tea for them. Ask your mom or dad, mother, father, do you need, do you want a cup of tea? sit them down maybe give them a massage i don't know cook something for them bake something for them because you know why our parents doesn't get younger they only get older for every single year that goes and you know what life isn't promised subhanallah um my mom's auntie's husband just passed away three days ago and subhanAllah, he was supposed to come to our house with his family this week. But unfortunately, he passed away three days ago. And this is just a reminder that our elder, elder and parents are just getting older. And we have to take care of them. We have to take care of each other. We have to take care of our families. It's really difficult, you know? And if you didn't know, the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to help within the household as well. This is the last thing I would be talking about for my Muslim sisters who want to start wearing the hijab this Ramadan. I just want to tell you that I'm so proud of you. When you wear the hijab, you feel another love you know the protection from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and when you wear the hijab for Allah's sake can you just imagine that you're pleasing your Lord all the time you know that it will be difficult in the beginning because you're thinking 
what other people would think about you. You maybe are scared that people would judge you and stuff. But to be honest, people judge other people all the time. It doesn't matter if you're a good or bad person, people will always judge you. And what I'm trying to say is that we don't always have to listen to other people's opinion. As long as you please a lot, other people's opinion doesn't matter. As long as you know that you do good. If nobody has told you this today, I just want you to know that I'm proud of you and I know how it feels because when I started to wear the hijab it was difficult in the beginning but I just fell in love with modesty as quick as I started if you want my hijab story comment it and if you want some tips on where to buy modest outfits also comment it so i can make a separate video about this jazakallah khair for listening i hope you all have a blessed ramadan with your loved ones may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep you all safe and see you inshallah assalamu alaikum للأمة خليت سنتها